that you flatten out the spine of that razor and the broader that you actually make the bevel where that edge is located. In those cases though, the pyramid that I would typically follow would be 15 strokes on the 4,000 side, 15 strokes on the 8,000 side, 10 and 10, 5 and 5, 3 on the 4,000 side, 3 on the 8,000 side, followed by 1 on the 4,000 side, 3 on the 8,000 side, and again 1 on the 4,000 side, and 5, 3 to 5 on the 8,000 side. What I'm going to give you now is a practical demonstration of the types of strokes that I use on the Norton Waterstone and that progression. Now, as I said earlier, typically I soak all my stones in water and when I take them out, I still maintain throughout the, the honing process a film of water on the top of them. Now, for razors that are just simply in excellent shape, we're going to start with the 331315 pyramid progression on the stone. Now, typically, again, because this is a three inch stone, most of the, the length of the blade actually goes across the entire stone. Of critical importance when honing is that that blade remain absolutely flat on this stone throughout the entire course of the stroke. And again, we bring it on a diagonal from the heel to the toe. We roll it on the spine and then again on a diagonal from the heel to the toe. So basically, the razor is perpendicular to the stone. The only time that I would angle my blade is if I didn't have, and this is a full hollow ground razor, if I had a razor that was a wedge razor, I typically find that a 45 degree angle in bringing the razor across the stone, roll it on the spine, and that same 45 degree angle with the X pattern coming back works very, very good for wedges. It also works very good for blades that have a bow in them, and it also works very good for blades that have been previously poorly ground and you have a flattened spine. So on this blade, typically the progression that you would see, uh, as I said, would be the three and three, one three, and then a one five. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow that for you here. Roll it. No pressure, no weight, on the, on the, from the razor to the stone at all. Basically, just the weight of the razor across the stone and very flat. Stroke two. Stroke three. At this point, I'm going to turn my stone over to the 8,000 side and I'm going to, to do three strokes again. Remember, the pyramid is three strokes on the 4,000 at this point, three on the 8,000, and then I'll go into a one, three, and a one, five. So here, we're one, two, three, and we're ready to turn the stone back over. How you hold the razor will depend on your tactile ability. All right, when you hold the razor on the stone, for me it works better to hold the tang and the handle at the same time, as well as trying to keep my elbow somewhat up. And the reason for that is I want to maintain that flatness in the stroke. You may come up with other ways to hold it that will work for you. Um, some people will actually uh, angle, if you can see that, the handle back and simply hold the tang, I find it harder to roll it when you do that. It seems to work best for me to hold them both together in this fashion. Now, we've done our three strokes. Now we're ready for our next progression in the pyramid, which as I said earlier was a one stroke 
on the 4,000 side and three strokes on the 8,000 side. So there's our one stroke. Now we go to the 8,000 side. One, two, this is one stroke, one, there's my second stroke, and there's my third stroke. The final progression will be a one, five. A lot of people have asked why we do a pyramid versus simply doing all the strokes at one time on both sides of the homes. And the, the answer that really has worked the best for all of us is that that incremental pacing as we go down the pyramid uh, ref helps to refine the edge and is much more consistent in bringing a, a, an edge uh, to the delicate edge of a straight razor to enable us to be able to shave with it. However, there are people out there who do not use the pyramid and uh, actually have experimented with uh, various numbers of strokes on both sides and will utilize their own methods in that as well. And for the last progression, one, and then five. Now you can see on both sides of the stone actually, although it might be a little harder to pick up on camera, that there's actually steel um, showing up against the red side of the stone, which means it is actually taking off metal on these. One of the reasons that I prefer the Norton so much is that the Norton tends to be a very fast cutting tool. Unlike the barber hones and uh, unlike even the natural stones that I use for polishing, the Norton really will get a job done in a pretty consistent uh, and fairly quick manner. Uh, there are some people who work with the Norton and who will start this pyramid at 25 strokes. Um, if the razor isn't perfect in, in the, the first smaller progression,